And this morning, we've been talking about the important work that goes on every day at the Port of New Orleans, which is also celebrating its 125th anniversary this year. That's right. And for many of those years, one group has played a critical role in the operations of the port. Let's head back out to Eric, who's on the river with more. Hey, Eric. <laughs> well, we are here with, uh, we're talking about longshoremen. Longshoremen are kind of the, the backbone of the port. Uh, and the men and women who do this have dropped in ranks over the years, but there's still a lot of longshoremen out here. And with us this morning, we have David McGee, the president of the uh, ILA, Henry Glover, vice president, and uh, Gregory Lee, who retired in 2004. First of all, David, let's talk about uh, where we are with the uh, International Longshoremen Association. Uh, in, in the heyday, you guys had thousands of members. Yes, in the heyday, we had over 6,000 members but now we are about at 500. And it's changed because of automation. I mean, times have changed with a lot of things, but these are very coveted jobs now. Definitely, I mean, because, you know, the individuals that work on the docks, they're gainfully employed, and with the benefits and all, you know, uh, medical benefits and whatnot, so they're very coveted. And we do talk about the importance of what longshoremen do. They really are the backbone to the port. Yes, they are constantly moving uh, during the pandemic. A lot of things shut down, but the port kept working. And uh, now, Gregory, you retired in 2004, yes, but you sir. started in 1974. Yes, we got sir. some pictures of uh, some of the days <laughs> when, when, way back when, when they were actually using mules to yes, load some of the cargo or carry some of the cargo. Before my time, yeah. when I came on, we <laughs> had, <laughs> go, old, yeah. we had uh, uh, flour, sugar by hand, rubber, Oh, and drums, it was physical work. But I thank God that we made it through and the, and the men was excellent because they had a good work habit and they always took pride in their work. Yeah, and back in the day, it was a lot of agriculture products. Bananas were big, those yeah. are no longer here, but Correct. a lot of things have changed over the years. What's changed since you were, were uh, here back in, in 1974 when Aaron Neville was a longshoreman and then Correct. Uh, Correct. To, to when you retired? What they've changed now is the container port. The containers came in and a lot of the uh, hand store cargo, like uh, sacks and sugar, now it could be containers. That changed a lot. Because when I first came out here, we had all hand physical work. We had to go in the hole with our cargo hooks and pull the rubber, and we used to throw uh, sugar refinery sacks, 110 pound sacks, and coffee. Yeah. Oh, coffee was the biggest commodity by hand. Well, and that's why you need so many people. Now, I'm looking at the boat behind me, Henry, and it's a monster. Yes, it is. a big ship. Uh, we have two gangs working today, about 36 men on the ship working or whatever. And uh, they started last night at 1 o'clock, and they'll probably work all the way to midnight tonight. And we did say the men and women of the uh, International Longshoremen Association. Uh, it's mostly men, though. Yes, yeah, mostly the women, men, but we do have women, a couple of women that work, and we are... Uh, when they come out, we do support them and stuff. But yeah, it's mostly men. And, and for for the benefits for the for the ILA, the things that uh, that ILA workers get, we said it's a coveted job. What are some of the benefits you guys get? Well, one of the most benefits uh, is that they're gainfully employed. There you go. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's where we come in as a union. You know, yeah. we. But the port is a good employer, saying. Well, yes, 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 the port is a good employer, but I mean, we come in and make sure that, you know, for a day's work, the individuals are properly paid for that, and along with that, the benefits come health care. We have one of the best health care plans, you know, in the nation, and, uh, you know, we even have a 401k plans and whatnot, so it's a very covenant job.